What's up y'all? So today I wanna help you figure out how to make like a spiky ball is super trendy in Metal Heart, uh, the Metal Heart community. I don't know what you would actually call it, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you how to do this in Blender. So it doesn't matter what render engine you're in. I'm gonna use EV. I'm just gonna crank on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. I'm using EV because Team EV needs more love and not everyone has a really strong computer to do the cycle stuff. But if you're on cycles, I suggest it as well. You get some nice reflections. So press Shift A. You're gonna pop up on an icosphere. Crank that open. Turn the subdivisions down to one. Okay. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Make sure it's on faces. I click three. I press three. You can also just click up here. Just press A to select all. Right click. Extrude individual faces. Take it a little bit out, not too far. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and click on this transform pivot point box, which is directly north, and you're gonna do individual origins. And if you press S now to scale, it's gonna shrink all those origins. And now you're gonna kinda see what's going on. The spikiness is coming. Don't shrink too much. We wanna get in there, hold down shift, and you can really get in there. But the minute you start seeing things glitch, in bad territory. Okay, now that we kind of have this spiky ball going on, or not the ball yet, but let's go ahead and click on our wrench for the modifiers. Go into subdivision. I crank mine up to like five because I'm different. Now, one of the other things that you could do, you're probably like, okay, but I want it to go a bit further down. I realize you can uh, click A change it from individual to I believe it's active element and then subdivide it a few times and now you kind of get a bit more of that spike you know I subdivided subdivided it twice right now I'm sure the subdivisions are going crazy but you'll be okay trust me so now the next modifier you're going to do is called a simple deform. Now a simple deform is how you can get these cool shapes. Keep in mind, don't go too crazy like tinkering with this angle because your computer may like crash. So make sure you're saving. I just press Y and then you can like kind of mess with it a little bit. I hold down shift and then you can just type something into like that's 70. Let's just go 90. And you can see that spiky ball is now getting these cool, like, sculpted, like, uh, visuals. I'm going to leave it as is for now, just because you can tinker more with that. I'm just going to go ahead and open up another section by right-clicking. And I'm going to do the shader editor. Select my little spiky ball here. I'm going to give it a new material. And I'm gonna keep it really simple for you today. Pump up the metallic, lower the roughness, not too far. Now, if we enter Eevee, okay, right now it is in a gray arena. We don't want that. So I'm gonna load an HDRI from Polyhaven. And if anyone's been following me lately, you've been seeing me go crazy with this one. And that's pretty much the spiky ball. So if you want to bring in a camera, I hold down tilde, shift A. I'm not gonna focus on this too much because a lot of you have seen this. If not, feel free to check out any one of my other tutorials. And from there, we have our little spiky ball. And if you want to play around with like glare or anything like that, I'm just gonna do a few quick things. I'll mess with my focus distance. I'll just blur out a little bit more. Now, if you want to mess with some glare, I should just bring in like a light on the side to give it a bit more of that, that oomph that you all kind of want in your renders when you're making stuff for people or social media. So, a light bulb, I'm just gonna crank them, tune them up, make it that like soft blueish. I don't need it to be too crazy. 
and then from there if you want this like really nice glare in the compositing bring in a glare so simple oops not simple sorry but fog glow make sure you have a viewer shift right click and then in there I'm not gonna tinker too much my render stuff I'm just gonna render a quick image out you can see here we're starting to get some sort of I think that depth of field is really fucking with it but I'm not gonna go too crazy on this I'll probably do a quick little animation just rotating the z-axis um, let me know if you want more help with that kind of animation stuff but keep it super super simple guys like play around with this get more into the materials play with some layer weight uh, if you right click and shade smooth, you'll get a bit of some nicer shading here. But what's nice is the topology stays fairly clean, which is super cool. Um, and yeah, you the world is truly your oyster with the amount of materials that you want to play with here. So thank you once again for tapping into the tutorial. Uh, we're going to keep these things going consistent. Thank you so much for all the love, all the support. Um, it means the world to me and I love to just keep sharing stuff that I learn and let me know things that you want to learn. I'll see you. Bye.